to inspect and adjust the track tension on your 650 or 850 Pro RMK Matrix or Matrix Slash, follow these steps. Track tension should be inspected and adjusted after every ride for the first 150 miles of use to ensure proper tension as the track stretches during break-in. After break-in, the tension should be inspected every 150 miles. Improper tension may result in damage to the suspension, track, or drive shaft. Extreme vibration felt under hard acceleration or track loads indicates the tension should be inspected immediately, as continued use could result in permanent damage. Before beginning, ensure the track has been warmed up. Next, safely elevate the snowmobile. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. Begin by rotating the track by hand to check for damage. Carefully examine the track along the entire length of each rod. Bend the track to ensure there is no breakage. If inspection reveals any concerns, see your authorized Polaris Service Center. Next, measure 16 inches ahead of the rear idler shaft on the track. Then, apply 10 pounds of weight on the track and measure the slack between the track and the rails. Reference your owner's manual for track specifications. If the track requires adjustment, begin by loosening the rear idler shaft bolt, but do not remove. Then, loosen the adjuster lock nuts on both sides of the track. Tighten or loosen the track adjusting screws on both sides of the track to provide equal adjustment of the track tension. After adjusting, tighten the lock nuts until fully seated. Then, torque the idler shaft fastener to specification. Next, start the engine and apply a small amount of throttle until the track turns slowly at least 5 complete revolutions. Stop the engine and allow the track to come to a complete stop without applying the brakes. Then, inspect the track alignment through the track windows in the rear to ensure the rails are evenly spaced on each side. If the track is offset to either side, loosen the adjustment nut on the side that the track is leaning towards, and tighten the adjusting screw as needed to gain alignment. Then, start the engine again and apply a small amount of throttle until the track turns slowly for at least 5 revolutions. Stop the engine and allow the track to come to a complete stop without applying the brakes. Reinspect the track alignment and repeat this procedure as needed. Once complete, ensure all fasteners are tight and safely lower the sled to the ground. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.